Hi, my name is Ritesh and you're watching Dancing with Data. And today let's unlock new multi-fact analysis during the Tableau data model. You may have very less videos on that. Also, you, you may not have the appropriate data set. So I'll get you that. But first, just wait and watch and understand the concept. Let us watch this video for some time and I will explain in parallel. ID and this has a uh, customer ID. Um, and then I'm like, oh, but I might want to analyze products, right? So I want to say products also have support this may be not visible, so let me tell you that he's trying to bring in a new table which, which is called a support cases. And the overall data model is based upon incident and case management. So you have tables like customer. You already, already have the tables customer and product and you are bringing support cases. So now it can answer support cases with respect to customer. So you can get that number, for example, number of cases over there. But what about product? Because uh, within this new table support cases, you have product IDs as well. So you can cases with respect to product IDs as well, which will be quite handy as well. But can you do that with present Tableau setup? That's what he will try to show you that he is not able to do that. So let me play the, let's play and watch the show. Both have customer ID and this has a uh, customer ID. Um, and then I'm like, oh, but I might want to analyze products, right? So I want to say products also have support ca cases and I can't do anything. Right, so this is Tableau today, effectively, and because they can't share dimensions, hence why it's called shared dimensions, and, and also not conform dimensions, which Thomas will talk about. What I want to do is I want to put this in what Tableau calls a base table. You could think about it as a fact table if you want it, and this is the new feature. I want to take. Some so he said that is the new feature. What is the new feature? Let us try to understand with sample your favorite sample superstore data. Now you'll get to know everything. Now we have this usual relationship between orders returns and users now we are trying to bring in an additional table just like in in this conference case as well so relationship the name was let me show you the table itself so that you'll understand right so this is the table simple now the name of the table is actually premium users right you can say return order by premium customers so they are premium customers and you have you have uh, their order ids the region to which they belong and the serial number so if we add this to this table return table, then we get to know that how many orders were returned, right? For how many premium customers orders were returned. And if I just relate this to this users table, which is nothing, let me show you the users table first. Users table, uh, you have managers, right? So you get to know who is a manager for Kim, Jan, Zhu, and Jackie. So that is whatever I said, that was for the users. So I'll show you the users table. So that's the user table. So whatever I said, I said for the users table. So from here, I get my manager's name for the premier customers. When I go to returns table, and just to revise from the returns table, I'll get to know that, okay, these how many order IDs were returned for my premium customers. So that is your order returns table, which I did not show earlier, right? So you can have a look of both the tables, not a problem. Basically, I've created two basic, very basic tables. You can say managers for, for premium customers. That was That's what I was talking about. And return by premium. So I need to, there is no relationship over there. So first of all, we need to read and then, then we'll see it will work or not. So first of all, let, okay, let us try to bring in the return order IDs for my premier customer. So I'll bring it over there to returns table and let's see what will happen. Okay. I think there is a relationship over now and, and I go, first of all, return order by premium customers over there and go, which looks quite reasonable now it, because name is from where? New table. Order ID is from the return table. So I, I see there are three order IDs, but only I get sales for only one, right? So fair enough. Uh, means only one order ID is the return order ID for my, for the rest of the folks they are blank over there so that is good but when i go to the managers i also want to know who all my managers for my premium customers from the other table when i go over there it's not correct right because you know i have four different uh, premium customers over there and i see only one manager over there which is not looking right okay i go to my data source and i see that there i do have a relationship between users and uh, this table, right? So I, I would like to relate users with, with relationship, hoping that my other thing will be intact as well, which won't happen. Okay, let's see, let's try. I go to managers for premium customers, bang, Jackie, Chan, Kim, Zoo, all good. 
this is this looks good when when i go to the other one now this is messed up under one one name i'm getting multiple return order ids which is wrong that's not the way i was expecting so this is the problem that you have a tableau right now and this 2024.2 solution will work for you that's the announcement that we are talking about now see you can treat this table as a base table you never have had this one right so you can treat this as a base table here you go and now you can just go to return the first relationship and from this base table second base table i will have another relationship now if this can keep my both the correct solution as it is then my job is done then i like this feature i go to manager for premium fingers crossed just like rohit sharma's wife ah okay jack oh what about the other one this is this has solved both the cases for you and i hope that you understand what is this concept and as i promised i will post this to tableau public so that you can go and play around with the data model over there and practice this and uh, let me know if you like this feature where you are going to put this feature in your project did you face the same similar difficulty earlier please go ahead and put that in the comment also if you want any other new feature video you can let me know that will also help me to create some informative informative videos for you so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata